In this screen, we're going to be adding a new jumbo booklet to our game. You can follow these exact same steps for any of the various booklets we offer on the website. First, you can give it a name. Then you can choose the green Add button. The jumbo booklet will appear, and you can update the name at any time. You can also set the quantity for how many of these booklets will be included in your game. If you want to remove this booklet, just use the red Delete button and then you can click on the file icon or the edit pages button to continue where we'll upload the various pages in our booklet. Just click on the green file upload box or you can drag and drop your files here. Go to the files on your computer. They will upload right away. Now we can see all of the different jumbo booklet pages that have been uploaded. Each one has a name field in case you want to update the name, as well as a page number field. The page number field controls the order of the different pages in the booklet. So for example, this one right here has a page number of one, so it would be the first page in your booklet. Whereas this one has a page number of two, making it the second page in the booklet. If you wish to change the order of the pages, just use the arrows. So now I've changed the order and I can see this is page number one, this is page number two, and this is page number three. The last step in the process is to proof the images. You can see that there's thumbnails of each booklet page. You can also see that there's these orange information boxes above each one that tell us this image hasn't been proofed. So let's click on the proof image button. In the proofing screen, you can see the image in a lot bigger size. And then you can also see there's different buttons up top. So there's a green approve button. If you like everything that you see and you're ready to go, click that. If you don't like what you see and you need to make a change, click on the red deny button. There's also options to toggle various filters for cut lines and the color filter. Everything looks good, so I'm gonna choose approve. Now it automatically takes me to the next booklet page image that needs to be proofed. And these all look the same because I'm using the same file in this example, but your images would be different. So I'm gonna keep clicking the green approve button through all of the uh, images in my booklet. Now you can see that everything has been proofed and the orange information boxes are no longer above the thumbnails. So now we're all set to go.